prices are unreasonably high. These are not people who can afford higher energy prices. It's a moral duty to actually ensure that I get them the best deal that I can from the world. On the oil, uh, oil issue, look, you have to, uh, at this time, uh, oil prices are unreasonably high. Okay? Uh, not only are oil prices high, uh, so are gas prices. A lot of them, uh, you know, a lot of traditional suppliers to Asia are also diverting them to Europe because Europe is buying less oil and gas from Russia or can buy less and oil from gas from Russia. So Europe is also actually buying much more uh, from the Middle East and from other sources who would have supplied India. So it is a situation today where every country will try naturally to get the best deal possible for its citizens, will try to cushion the impact of this high energy prices. Uh, and that is exactly what we are doing. Now, we are not doing it uh, in a defensive way. I mean, we have been very open and very honest uh, about our interest. You know, I have a country which has a per capita income of $2,000. These are not people who can afford higher energy prices. It is my obligation, my moral duty, to actually ensure that I get them the best deal that I can from the world. Thank you. very, very important that India-ASEAN relations for us today. You know, if I were to look at the five big economic uh, partners we have in the world, they are the European Union, the United States, China, ASEAN, and the Gulf. These are the five big trade accounts that we have. Now, within ASEAN, all of you know how important Thailand is. So, for us today, especially because there is a lot of volatility in the world, uh, it is very, very important that India-ASEAN relations not just do well, but actually grow. I think this understanding is there in ASEAN countries. All my ASEAN counterparts were in India last month because it was the 30th anniversary of our strategic partnership. And I can tell you, I'm, I mean, I'm, uh, tomorrow are my talks, but I am very confident that my enthusiasm to grow this relationship, uh, which I'm doing obviously at the directions of the Prime Minister, is completely shared on the Thai side. So I'm very confident that in different ways this relationship would grow. And I think where all of you are concerned, particularly the economic side and the community side, the travel side, I think these are areas we would like to grow fastest.